Hi everybody, your uncle here. Welcome to this bonus episode of Fish and Tips. Today we are looking at the drift line with self-writing buoy. A useful technique where the fisher attaches the line and package to a buoy and places the buoy in the water where it can be retrieved after a period of time. What you need is a hard plastic float, like an ASP float. This is a 24 centimeter diameter with a braid cord, about 1.5 meter, either stainless steel or hard copper wire, a sharp clip, and a little bit of braid. Mm. And then your hand caster with your main line and your snap, and this is where you attach your, your leader with your bait, similar to the paluahi, to the drop stone, and all the other techniques I've mentioned. You can attach the clothes peg to that. First thing you need to do is it's a good idea to color the float two different colors. Yeah? Yes. Two different colors. I've done that here. So one side yellow, the other side orange. Alright? The reason for this is this is help will give you an indication whether you have a fish or no fish. Mm. Okay? It's like a litmus paper, it's a, it changes color. So we attach the braid line. We attach Braid line to the shaft clip. I just use a simple bow line, you don't have to be fancy, but if you want to be fancy, no problem. On the opposite side of the brake line, you can put your copper wire and you can attach the clothes peg to that. It looks like this. When you've put your leader on, your follow away, your bait, wrap that up, drop this in the, in the water. So whatever depth you've chosen, see that? I put a piece of braid in there. This is to lock the spool. It locks the spool. So what we do is we attach that to the spool, the float, we drop this in the water and let it drift. Okay? When the fish pulls, it turns over. The sun yep. is shining, like my head. You have head. to go fast. Fish on Three. <laughs> and it's orange, there's no Four. fish. Okay. You got it? Yeah. I'm check it in the water. So. All right, we're ready to drop, Kura. Let's go. First, pay out about 10 meters of main line. Then drop your parcel over the side of the boat. Here, Kura is using the drop stone with leaf method, but you can use either paluai or cone bag method. Smoothly pay out more line until you reach the desired fishing depth. Faster. Pass the large loop through the flange hole in the plastic hand caster to lock the main line. Then connect the long line snap to this loop. Connect the quick release clip to the braid cord. Then jerk the main line to unravel the parcel underwater, releasing the chum. Throw the float and hand caster into the water to drift. When a fish strikes, the tension on the line opens a quick release clip and the float with two colors will turn upside down to alert you. So you can use this technique to set out multiple fishing lines at once while focusing on trolling or preparing another fishing method. Make sure to check out our other episodes on midwater fishing techniques. <laughs> How exciting. Thank you for watching. We hope you've enjoyed this bonus episode on fishing tips.